In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a PHP MySQL testing server on your local computer. Now the reason you would want to do this is to be able to develop and test PHP pages on your local machine before having to upload them to your production server. This way you can do your testing and not have to have your pages and your functionality available to the public. Having a local testing server will also allow you to make changes to your site uh, and test them out locally before you have to upload them to your production site. I'm shooting this video on a Windows 7 machine and the first thing that I'm going to need to do is download the PHP MySQL server. So I go to the following website to download XAMPP which is a self-contained installation of PHP and MySQL. Uh, the URL you can see up there is www.apachefriends.org, E-N for English, zamp-windows.html. So I scroll down to Zamp to download it. I click on it. And I'm going to download the executable, which will install it. And then I'm going to click Save File to save the file to my computer. Okay, so now that XAMPP is downloaded, the next step is to actually go in and stop the IAS server. IAS is Internet Information Server, and that's the built-in web server that comes with Windows. Uh, and it can conflict with XAMPP, so we'll need to stop it so that we can run XAMPP. So what I'll do is I'll go to my Start Menu, Control Panel. And then I'll click on Administrative Tools and click on Internet Information Services Manager. Now if you don't have this option available, that means you don't have it installed. So you can just go ahead and skip this step. But I have it installed, so I'll double click it. And on the right hand side here under Actions, I'll click Stop to stop IIS. And there we go. So now that I've stopped IIS, I'm ready to install XAMPP. Okay, to install XAMPP, I'm going to browse to where I downloaded the XAMPP installer file. I'll double click the exe. Uh, Windows 7 asks me if I want to run the installer. I say yes. And for the destination folder, I want to put C colon. Leave all the defaults and just click install. Uh, Windows 7 gives me the security alert. I'll just say yes. And now everything is installing into the C XAMPP folder. The XAMPP installation can take a few minutes, so just let it run and it should finish within a few minutes. Okay, once the uh, installation is complete, it'll open up a command prompt and start asking you some questions. Uh, I would just answer default uh, yes to a lot of these. So the first question, should I add shortcuts to the start menu? I'll just go ahead and say yes, enter. Should I proceed? Let's leave it as Y, enter. Should I make XAMPP portable without drive letters? Select no, enter. Now it says XAMPP is ready to use, so I'll click Enter to continue. It set the time zone in my PHP INI, so I'll just click Return to continue. And then there's some final configurations uh, that you'll want to set. The first important step is to enter in number 5 to enable IPv4 only. And now I'll just hit 1 to start the XAMPP control panel. And here's the XAMPP control panel. And now I'm ready to start my server. I'm going to start Apache. And I'm going to start MySQL. Okay. These SVC or service options on the left 
are to be checked if you want to start these services when you start the computer. If you do this, remember that you need to turn off IIS and make sure that it doesn't start when your computer starts. Okay, so the last step is to figure out if your installation works successfully. So the first thing you'll want to do is open up a browser and type in HTTP localhost. And you'll notice that the XAMPP splash screen appears. So that seems to be working well. Now we want to select our default language. And I'm going to use English. And now we've successfully installed XAMPP on the system. Now for best practices, you'll want to make sure that the security settings are set correctly. So I click security on the left here. And I want to click on this link to fix the security issues to make sure that only the local machine can access XAMPP. The next step is you'll want to set a root password for your MySQL user. Uh, it's highly recommended to set a password, so I'm going to go ahead and set my password. Repeat the password. And now I'm going to select password changing. Now the last step is to test that my PHP installation is working. So I'll go back to my browser, go to localhost, and I'll click on PHP info link here on the left hand side. And what you'll notice is that it prints out the PHP information. Uh, it's got the latest PHP installation and version set up. Now that XAMPP's installed, I can actually start creating my web pages. And the location where I want to put all of my PHP files is in C, XAMPP, htdocs. So anytime I put a file in here, it'll be the at the root of my local host server. OK, well, that's it. That's uh, the easy way and pretty quick way to install a fully functional PHP and MySQL uh, set up on a local computer. Now I can start developing my dynamic web applications, testing it locally, uh, making changes, and then I can upload it to my production server. Hope this has been helpful. Thanks a lot for watching.